Hello everybody, this is Gaming to the Maximum 66 and welcome to my first ever Blender tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to make this T2 effect where the T1000 walks through those uh, prison bars. Anyways, it's time to get started. I'll open up Blender here. As you can see, I already have the scene put. I already have the first run here and we're just gonna open up a new general. And yeah, just we're gonna start off by making the bars. I'll probably just time lapse through this because it's really simple process. And the bars are done. <clears throat> you can feel free to make the bars however which way you want, it doesn't really matter as long as you have bars to make the head pass through. Now all we need is just basically a uh, model to turn into a terminator. So I'm just gonna grab a mo model real quick. Anyways, uh, we have our model here, but unfortunately, um, it's a little bit small. So we're gonna have to make some changes to that. Also, yeah. combine all these, and oh, apply that, and combine these and this is going to be a little bit different than the original video because I did some experimenting and also it's not really going to be the exact same this but whatever it doesn't matter oh, now we just rx 90 rx 180 as the and 90, scale it up, bring it down, scale it up, bring it down, scale up a little more, mm, more. See, that seems good. We're not going to see the top of the bars really once we get the camera in there. And also, as we know, the Terminator is made of uh, yeah. also this only works in Eevee well depending on your model my model only works in Eevee but depending on yours I don't know what it works but as we know the Terminator is made of metal so and now we have a Terminator easy as that now also you can see we have all this excess geometry down here right? how many bars have gone through this head There might be some slight tinkering throughout the city, but anyways. Uh, as you can see, we have all this excess geometry here. Now, take the camera, we're going to put it right about there-ish. Right about there is where we're going to put that. Now, just got to this back, keyframe the location, move ahead like, uh, I don't know, 110 frames, GX, pull through, and addition. Now we got him passing through the bars. And, if you, and as you can also see, we don't see too much of the model, so what we could do is take the model here chop off what we don't need. Give me a little 
little bit more than I thought. Yeah. But yeah. We don't need that much geometry if it's not necessary. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the whole modeling thing. Also, we gotta make the bars metallic, of course. Prison bars. And... that. We're pretty much done. Well, once you go into rendered mode, as you can see, there's no light, so we'll just grab some... We'll grab what's called an HDRI. And just choose one of them. Doesn't matter. And boom. We're done. Make sure to turn on screen space reflections and motion blur if you want it. And then we're going to go down under, f not in direct lighting, film and make it transparent so we don't have a background there. And change color management to standard. Boom. We got a uh, shiny dude phasing straight through some bars. That's not what, what we want. What we're going to do, so we're going to turn this back on. We're going to, we're just going to call this uh, T1000. I did that right. And we are going to add what is called a dynamic paint at, and we're going to make it a canvas. We're going to vertex, and we're going to make this animation 140 frames long. And 24 FPS. And goes through. Stops, and, well, actually, we don't need it as long, so we'll stop the thing at an extra 10 frames away. 130. And we don't need the dry. Uh, you, however, we don't need the output. Uh, but we do need to change it from paint to waves. And we'll mess around with these in a minute. But now what we gotta do is change the. We're gonna go into this one real quick. What we need to do here is make this a brush. And it doesn't really matter what you do here. I just like change this to white. And I don't think you have to do anything there. Nope. As you can see, the effect is uh, quite strong. And not exactly what's supposed to happen. So we're going to go through and make some adjustments here. So for time scale, we're going to want to change it to around a point 0.15, 0.15. And for the speed, we're going to change it to 0.32. For damping, we're going to change it to a 0.7. For spring, we're going to leave it as is. As you can see, and unfortunately, it kind of goes in the wrong direction. So, i got to figure out how to reverse that. Now, theoretically, there should be a very simple way of doing this. And at the moment, I'm forgetting exactly how to do it. Hmm. Very many here. Um. Okay, I'll get back to you guys once I figure out how to fix that. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the uh, issue with why instead of going into the mesh, everything was heading out. You have to go down to here where it says factor on your on the brush or the bars and change factor to negative one. Instead of going out, it goes in, as you can see here. Now, as you can also tell, it's not the exact. It's not exactly the same as what actually happens. What happens in the movie is it more or less wraps around and squishes. This kind of just goes through and pushes everything around a little bit. So it's not exactly the same, but I this is my best shot at it. And also we're going to go to around frame we're going to go to frame 100 here. I'm going to keyframe the damping and spring. 
I'm going to go all the way to the end. I did not set this to 130. To the end here, change damping to a 1, spring to a 0. And then we're going to go to frame. Let's see, 105 here. I'm going to keyframe the time scale. Go to the end. Set it to a 1.5. Keyframe it. Let me go to 110. Keyframe the speed. Go to the end, of course. And bump this up to a 1. And if we, and when we bake it, it's going to take a hot second. We should have the effect we're looking for. Okay, we go to the beginning. Up into rendered view here. This over. Shut down a little bit. Let's zoom out. And there you go. T1000 effect from Terminator 2 in Blender. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, also make sure to share it with your friends. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all watching to the end. Uh, see you in the next tutorial I'll make, and I don't really know when that will be or what it will be. Anyways, goodbye.